Hi you guys, welcome back. Today we are working on a project I've wanted to do for a long time and want to get done before the fall and that is adding a fire pit area to my garden. So I'll show you what the plan is and what we're doing right now and where we plan to go from. <laughs> getting ready to go to work, but I wanted to show you what I have spent the weekend working on because it is very, very exciting. As much as I love house projects, I love outside projects, especially when it's a part of my garden even more. So we have been working on this little fire pit area, which I think I've decided it needs to be bigger. Also, sorry, I have an egg. I just got let the chickens out, but we have a little pit in the middle here. We need to go get a few more stones. And then I'm thinking we need a little bit more flagstone. These were saved over from my first house. I knew when I moved that I wanted to keep these. So I took them up and replaced them with other stones before I put it on the market so that I could keep these flagstone. But I think it needs to be a little bit bigger because this is a pretty small chair. Eventually we're gonna want bigger chairs and then more room to kind of walk around it. So. I think we need more flagstone, but we still have a lot more gravel. So I think it's gonna look really, really cool. My plan is to, once we get it all filled out with gravel, I'm gonna cut back the tarp and then I'm gonna put some big poles on the corners of the garden and then another corner over there and do kind of like some string lights. And then I'm gonna extend the garden on the other half and it's gonna look like a similar design of what I have here just on the far side of the thing. So the fire pit will be kind of like the central focus of the garden and I want to have a bunch of like solar lights and different interests to add out here. I think it'll look really really beautiful and then in the fall we get these beautiful fall sunsets over that field so it'll look really pretty kind of just looking over that field and it won't be blocked by any garden. It will just be kind of in the center. I am pretty excited. I love outside projects a lot because a lot of the times I can do them myself and work on them when I need to. I don't have to wait for anyone to help me even though I did get some help with this project. Um, but I shoveled in all this gravel pretty much by myself yesterday and just took little breaks. I would shovel a little bit of gravel, go jump in the pool, come back because we had a heat wave and it was about 100 degrees this weekend so i try to get out there very early and then any other time after that i would kind of make sure i was protected and not spend too much time and just do little little pieces throughout the day <laughs> but i think it looks really really good and i love the different stones i'm gonna obviously cut the fabric out of that have it be our fire pit area So from this side, it 
doesn't that look so beautiful? I think it's gonna look so good. And just imagine little string lights from poles and some little flickering solar lights. I think it's gonna look great. It's gonna be the perfect addition for fall, having a place to have a fire. Also, squash vine borers have taken over my squash, so I had to clear out this entire bed and I'm kind of monitoring that to see if it's gotten eaten up too, but I'm gonna try to re sow it here. We'll see how it goes. I did sow some by these tomato halos in the back here. Also, this shade cloth from Gardener Supply has been such a lifesaver. And I have never let my tomatoes get this unruly, but I don't hate it. <laughs> also, I'm thinking I might place the chairs just kind of like around this side and leave this side open with no chair, um, just so you can kind of see that view better. I forgot to mention the other thing that I really want to add out here is some plants that don't really need a whole lot of my attention like lavender and things yarrow things that can kind of handle some drier weather and plant them in the ground kind of around the area i also have these bigger rocks that i'm gonna kind of strategically place kind of decoratively might find some driftwood or something like that and just make it look really really cool dark so I hope you can see me but I'm out here enjoying my new little coffee spot I figured while I was already getting the fire pit ready in the garden that I would start working on my side porch area where I wanted to have kind of like a little bistro table to come out and have um, breakfast and coffee and have my little kitchen garden out here because it's right outside of the kitchen we also have our grill out here and so I just wanted it to be a cute little area it overlooks our pecan grove and fruit orchard where the sun rises so the light is always beautiful in the morning so I have not finished it yet but I have started getting it ready and I just need a little bit more fabric um, on I ran out and then I can lay down the gravel, but I already got the stairs painted. I have one little bottom piece I need to repaint and I want to do a second coat as well. I kind of dug out the stones that were buried and had grass all growing over them and I'm going to pressure wash them 
and I bought a new little table and got the porch all cleaned off and I think it's looking really cute. So the plan is to eventually get more fabric cloth and then have elevated raised beds that I can have herbs and lettuces and flowers and things that'll be easy to come out of my house, which is right there. My kitchen's right behind this wall and get. And so I also wanna get, like make, extend this gutter and get some really beautiful rain urns or barrels. Um, one, so that the rainfall doesn't completely destroy the beds and two, because we have been getting so much rain, I think it'll be really good use for that. So I'm gonna get some plants, some pots. I couldn't get these stones out, so I'm just gonna pour some vinegar to kill the grass there. And then I need to paint that bottom little section. I actually really need to repaint the entire porch, but this is kind of my chicken cabinet where I keep a lot of different supplies. And then this is my little breakfast nook. This whole porch really needs to be repainted, but I painted the pots. I painted that little chest that we have over here. We keep a lot of our grill stuff in. And then this leads out to part of my cottage garden to the front of the house. Mr. Peachy, what are you doing? So I still have a lot of shoveling of gravel left to do here in the kitchen garden area. And then we also still have a lot to do in the regular garden. I purchased some new corner connectors from Gardener Supply to extend my garden and have it have the same look. And I'm really, really excited about that. And then I plan on getting a bunch of posts and all the lights. And so it'll be a while before that full project is done probably just for like cost and financial reasons and time as well. So, but I'm really excited. I really want to get maybe not the elevated raised beds by the house done before fall, but the garden expansion, I really want to start working on getting that done before fall so that I have more space for fall vegetables since I am currently starting to think and gear up for the fall garden. I'm actually very, very excited for the fall garden season this year because I had such a hard time with the garden this summer, primarily because of squash vine borers have eaten everything, all the cucumbers, all the squash, all of the melon that I had growing. I think the only things that have really done well are the peppers and eggplant. I also really had a hard time getting beans to grow this year. Not bush beans, the bush beans grew really well, but any kind of pole bean never really took off. I'm not sure what the issue was there. Maybe it just didn't germinate well. I didn't soak the seeds for long enough or I'm not even really sure, but lots of different issues with the summer garden this year that I am kind of ready to move on to fall so I can actually get some harvestable food. I also really miss lettuces and salads and kale. So my main project moving forward will be expanding this garden and getting everything ready for fall, amending the soil, getting some fresh compost. I am doing a little bit of succession sowing. At some point, these vine borers are gonna have to bore back underground until next year. Um, and then hopefully I can get a little bit of squash, at least some winter squash to store and use for fall, but being very hopeful. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to gear up for fall just so I can have some food. I haven't had a whole lot of food other than tomatoes. My tomatoes, they're gone now, but they did amazing this year. I had a shade cloth, um, that I put over some maxi hoops that I've got from Gardener Supply, which worked amazing and I really, really loved that. And they did so well. So yeah, I will just be cleaning things out. As you can see that I'm doing here 
and getting things ready for fall. I also am going to be getting my goat area back behind the garden and that barn out there ready for goats come next spring, hopefully. Ooh, Zinnia. So this is one of my only squashes that have continued to live on at the moment. Hopefully it will keep going. And I successioned sowed these, so these were sown not that long ago. And I've read that you can take tin foil and wrap it around the base and it'll help the squash vine borers to not bore into the squash. So I'm definitely going to be doing that as soon as possible. Anyways, I hope you all are well and I will see you next time. Bye guys.